Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a, a rendered picture, not of the sun, but of more of like a fire planet or anything. Doesn't really matter. Uh, first thing to do is uh, file new. Obviously because else you won't have any workspace. I set this to uh, 12 1200 pixels by 1200. Why? Um, because I need a square for this to do. It is possible on um, a, just a rectangle, which actually is more convenient if you want to use it as a wallpaper so I'm gonna put this one to 1600 by 1200 uh, okay now we have this wide field of 16 by 1200 pixels now to make sure your colors are set the right way just press the D now you have black and white so now go to the gradient which is this one but you won't need the gradient you need the paint bucket tool so if you just click it anywhere it should turn black if not make sure it goes black now go to the um, selection tool and put it on circular uh, option because now you can make circles and obviously a um, planet or whatever is a circle so to make sure that you have a perfect circle press shift at the same time where you're dragging it but try to get it in the center it's right here I guess where you can get a nice picture of it Yeah, make sure that you also have some space left um, up and down because you will need to put an outer glow in later and if you don't have any space that will just be chopped off actually looks really really bad at that point so now we have uh, selected this uh, part so go to uh, layer new layer and just call it one or whatever you want if you're got just gonna recognize it press ok go to filter filter render somewhere there clouds now we get something like this so now go to filter again again render now difference clouds now get something like this if you now press ctrl i which also should be available somewhere around this place I Yes. I don't know where we do it. Doesn't matter. Control I. You will invert the colors. And if you now press Control U. No, sorry. Control L. You can. You will see this screen. So Control L, not U. We will uh, use the Control U later on. I just set this uh, little triangle that's in the middle all the way to the right. So you get this like uh, lightning piece of picture. Now you go to filter again. Go to Disort, Sphere Eyes. Okay, and press Control F again. Make sure that the amount is 100%. And at the point that you um, push Control F, it will uh, make sure that you apply the filter again at the same settings. Now we're going back to filter again. Go to uh, let's see stylus, stylize, find find edges. You have something like this. Press Ctrl I again to invert the colors yet again. And now go to layer and duplicate layer. Now we have two of the same layers. Uh, doesn't really matter yet. What we're gonna do is um, take the upper one. Press Ctrl U this time. There we are. Now if you have Photoshop CS3 you will notice that there is a button right here that's called colorized. You need to turn it on. I don't know if it's there on CS2 or whatever version also. I do know that the older versions won't have this button. Now we got the upper one. We're just going to leave that on zero. The second one will be 100. And then you will see that it's nicely red. Press OK. Then select the original layer. And also here press the U button. But now the upper one will be on uh, a level of 40. And sorry, first colorize, then 40. The saturation again on 100. And you can see that's now more yellow than the red that we had just ago. So now double click the layer 1 copy. Go to blend mode, which will pop right up. And then select linear dutch. Then you have something like this. It's uh, pretty orange and everything. Uh, at this point it's not really much of a fire planet yet so we're gonna repeat everything we did now for two more times so go to layer new layer and call it two 
or as I want it. Now we have nothing yet, so go to filter again, render clouds, again to filter, render different clouds, control I, control L, slide this, then go to filter, uh, distort, spherize, ok, control F again, filter, stylize, find the edges, control I, now duplicate layer again, no that's not duplicate layer, this is duplicate very layer. Control U, colorize 0, 100, 0. Go to the original one, Control U, colorize 40, 100, and 0 again. Now, um, we can do, uh, oh, sure. Double click the layer to copy again. Go to linear Dutch again. And now um, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna select those two layers. So push shift, and then ma make sure that the upper one is selected. So uh, layer two, copy. Press shift and press then the number two. We now have selected two layers. If you now press Control E, you will make one layer out of it. So do that with the one also. And now if you uh, double click the two copy, and put this one on linear dodge you will see the lower one right through it now we're gonna repeat this one more time so go to a layer new layer ok filter render clouds filter render difference clouds control i control l slide the button filter desort spherize ok control f filter stylize find the edges control i Duplicate the layer, ok, no not this one, Control U, colorize 0, 100, 0, select the original layer, Control U, colorize 40, 40, 100 and 0 again, there we are, double click this one, put the blending mode on linear dodge, there we are. Select those two layers again, press Ctrl E. Now we don't have really much yet because we are only seeing one layer right now. So this one, uh, the last layer that you made, double click it also. Put also this blending mode to linear dodge. And you will find something like this which looks more like a fire planet to me. Now, uh, get to the Mercury tool again. Mercury, whatever to select stuff, deselect. Now take uh, your last layer, your first layer, doesn't matter which one. Um, now double click it, go to outer glow, and select some, I don't know, yellow, gold kind of color. Not too dark, not too bright. Go to size and spread it out a little bit, you can see the difference that it makes. If you use size, you can see that the size grows bigger, but the edges are still soft. If you spread and size, you can see that it's uh, not really realistic anymore. It's just one circle. So you're not going to use that very much. Also, make sure you don't use too much of a glow, because that will just mess up the whole picture. If you think you got this one right, you press OK, and there you have it. I think I... I don't know why. Um, well, let's see the end result, shall we? You can always uh, save this picture, of course, which is, uh, comes in very, very handy. Just gonna make it a, a normal picture and um, call it Fire Planet or something. Oh, yeah, Fire Planet. It's also an option, which I just did. And uh, that's how you do it.